it's the it's the coolest job. I get to you know turn people into comic book characters by night. I mean, I get to make you know women happy about themselves during the day. I mean, how how can you not love doing that for a living? Well, I've I've been doing body painting and face paint. Well, more so face painting um, for two or three years now. And uh, I saw another artist on Instagram uh, named Arjanis Pinal, and he had uh, turned himself into a comic book version of himself. And I was just blown away by it. And so I'd shown the picture to the friend who had turned into the first character. And uh, he was thrilled by it and wanted me to turn him into it. One of the, the difficult parts when doing a character, especially one like Green Lantern, is um, getting it to sort of fit on a person's face, but also at the same time looking like the character. Because obviously, not always um, is the person going to look like the, the character naturally. A lot of the characters, yeah, I started out with doing it myself just because it was something that I, I did in my spare time. Um, my, my, my majority business is doing weddings and grads and all that other stuff. So that was more of a hobby on the side. Um, so when I did it, I did it late at night. I'd started, you know, a lot of the characters, you know, at 11 o'clock at night, 12 at night. And so I didn't finish until, you know, sometimes four in the morning <laughs> after taking pictures and everything. So, um, yeah, so typically, you know, models aren't really available that late at night. So I, I would do it on myself. Um, there's a few that I want to do that aren't really like a comic book character per se. Like there's this one um, that this artist had done on his DeviantArt page and it's this cool like porcelain face girl but she's like a robot as well and she's got like all these crazy feathers and I don't know it's this really abstract really difficult looking piece that I really would like to tackle um, I also want to do cyborg um, not necessarily on myself I want to find like a, a good looking you know guy to do that on and I think that would be really cool do like the robot I'd really like to do um, uh, the Terminator when I was younger, um, my, my parents put me in art classes, so I was in just um, sketching classes and watercolor. The, the brushes that I actually use still to this day in, in my, my face and body art are the, are the brushes that I use for my watercolor painting. And, oh uh, God, yeah, probably grade four. Grade four sounds about right. <laughs> well, I mean, when we're doing comic book characters, what I'm looking for in, in a model or, or in a canvas, I mean, is obviously somebody who's in peak physical condition because superheroes are quite fit. It brings it more to life when the person already is in that shape. I mean, my dreams kind of already come true in all this. I mean, every, people are liking what I'm doing. I mean, I've got fans, you know, across the world. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, my dream would obviously be to continue to do this and to be able to make a living at it.